Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we want to learn about some restrictions of generics in Java. The first restriction is that it is not possible to create an instance of a type parameter. The second one is that no static member can use a type parameter declared by the enclosing class. Also, there are some restrictions with arrays. First, you cannot instantiate an array whose element type is a type parameter. The second, you cannot create an array of type specific generic references. The last one is that a generic class cannot extend throughable. This means that you cannot create generic exception classes. Before going to our example, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I want to ask you to subscribe my channel and also give me a like to encourage me making more videos. Thank you. As we said, it is not possible to create an instance of a type parameter. For example, in this class, it is illegal to make an instance of T because the compiler does not know what type of object to create. T is just a placeholder. The next restriction was with a static member. We said that a static member cannot use a type parameter declared by the enclosing class. For example, here both of the static members of this class are illegal. Also, we said that you can't declare static members that use a type parameter declared by the enclosing class. But it is possible to declare a static generic methods which define their own type parameters as we talked about it in video number 6, which I would put the link at top of the video. About the restriction of arrays, we have two important generics restrictions that apply to arrays. First, you cannot instantiate an array whose element type is a type parameter. Second, you cannot create an array of type specific generic references. Here in this example, it is valid to declare a reference to an array of type T. But you cannot instantiate an array of T. This is because there is no way for the compiler to know what type of array to actually create. However, you can pass a reference to a type compatible array to method when an object is created and then assign that reference to array, like here. This works because the array passed to method has a known type which will be the same type as T at the time of object creation. Inside main method, notice that you can declare an array of references to a specific generic type. So this line won't be compiled. You can create an array of references to a generic type if you use a wildcard like here. This approach is better than using an array of row types because at least some type of checking will still be enforced. And the last restriction as we said is that a generic class cannot extend throughable. This means that you cannot create generic exception classes.